Hello, I'm Julie Luch. In today's episode of Cultural Cash Online, I will be talking about my work from the Cultural Center of the Philippines 21 AM collection titled Jose Garcia Villa. The work is a sculpture bust of Jose Garcia Villa, which I fashioned out of white ceramic clay, baked or fired in low temperature in a kiln, and then thinly painted with acrylic. Somebody from the staff, our Dr. Nicanor Johnson, who was then the artistic director of the CCP, placed it in this altar-like cabinet or an urna, as if to enshrine him as a literary saint. This work is a seminal piece, representing my early artistic period in white clay, before I discovered terracotta, of which I became probably the foremost exponent. Clay is a joyous, wonderful medium of which there is a vast supply in all regions of the Philippines. I made this piece in 1973 when I was barely starting out as a beginner clay artist. In fact, it is the very first artwork that I exhibited in a gallery, which makes it very special, a milestone work that is quite precious to me. Who is Jose Garcia Villa? Why did I make his portrait? And what is that curious protrusion on his forehead that makes him look like a unicorn? Jose Garcia Villa is one of our national artists for literature, foremost poet, short story writer, literary critic, and visual artist. He enrolled at the University of the Philippines, was a brilliant student, but was rather a rebellious and restless young man way ahead of his time. He was expelled from UP for writing erotic poems included in his collection called Man Songs. Unhappy and disappointed, he left for the United States to pursue his love for poetry. He enrolled at the University of New Mexico, finished a graduate course at Columbia University, mingled with modernist poets and artists in Greenwich Village, and eventually published his landmark book of poetry called Have Come, I'm Here. This poetry collection of his won the prestigious American Academy of Arts and Letters, which gained for this Filipino poet a welcoming entry into the rarefied enclaves of the American literati. One can only imagine how proud I was when I chanced upon a photograph of famous writers and poets posing formally in a private soiree. W. H. Auden, Tennessee Williams, Dame Edith Sitwell, Stephen Spender, and others. And among them, our very own Jose Garcia Villa. I was naturally inspired because I so love poetry. I graduated from the University of Santo Tomas with a double degree in philosophy and English literature. This explains my fascination with this man and why I did his portrait. Eventually, I would also do the busts of Nick Joaquin 
F. Sionil Jose, Bienvenido Lombero, and Cirilo Bautista, all national artists of the Philippines. Why did I put a horn on his forehead? In the early 70s, I saw a drawing in an exhibition of the erstwhile Lewis Gallery done by Villa himself, portraying himself as a unicorn. I understood that even in his poetry, Villa had iterated his high estimation of himself as an artist, always contending with God, always questioning and measuring himself against the Godhead. The horn of a unicorn is, for me, Villa's symbolic image of anointing, of enlightenment, and of course, of genius, which calls to mind Michelangelo's monumental sculpture of Moses with a similar horn grown out of his forehead. I never met Villa. I used photographs I cut out from newspapers and magazines as my reference in making his portrait. The bust is an impressionistic, semi-abstract rendering. I wanted to capture the strangeness, the loneliness of the man. Remember, he was an exile from his own country. I tried to capture the charisma and the mystery of his persona. In 1977, I held my first solo exhibition ever at the Sinin Kamali Gallery along Taft Avenue in Pasay City. I titled the exhibition, If Joaquin, then Villa, or Busts, with an exclamation point. The show included portraits of these two great writers, as well as my friends and members of my family, some nudes, figures, landscapes. The show was simple and innocuous, nothing hefty or sensational. Villa was not there, of course, but Nick showed up to open the exhibition and that was enough to make me completely happy. The late eminent and highly esteemed art critic and friend Jolico Quadra saw the Villa bust in the exhibition and wrote a wonderful article about it that is truly a treasure to me. I quote some lines from his article. It is a natural right of a work of art to startle the beholder, to terrify or comfort him. To me, this Villa bust startles. To be able to grasp whole the essence of a man and transfigure it is, open quote, to attain the spiritual dignity needed to render him a tragic figure." Close quote. And of the Villa bust, only a real artist can do such a thing. Thank you, Jalika, for this lavish praise. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Cultural Cash Online.